Welcome to the painting with Mark to pass the time during the coronavirus. I'm Mark. For those of you who watched my previous episodes, Sculpting with Mark to pass the time during the swine flu, you'll know I like to keep things basic. Also, for those of you who know my last episode ended abruptly, I'm happy to say that the doctors were able to reattach my pinky finger. See? So let's begin, shall we? Do I have to do this, Mom? Just let him do it, okay? He's driving me nuts inside. This is the first time he's been outside in weeks. All right, so first of all, we'll be needing an easel, canvas board, several different size brushes, and of course, many, many colors. As an added bonus, today I'll be painting my lovely daughter, Caitlin. She's my middle daughter. And my wife, Susan, is doing the recording. How long is this going to take? If you're still, not more than two hours. I'm only getting ten bucks for this. Five, dear. Five. So anyway, I've taken the liberty of getting some brown ready for Caitlin's hair. I think it's one of her most dynamic and beautiful things about her. So, Caitlin, if you would, go ahead and get a pose. All right. And good. All right, so. Oh, excuse me, silly of me. I didn't let you get your own brown. I'll stop and let you do that now. Okay, great. So, Caitlin's hair, beautiful brown. So we're gonna just start, start at the top and work our way down. She has beautiful hair, so we're gonna take our time with this. Feel free to twist the brush a bit as you're doing this part. To get it's looking good, Mark. Waves. Thank you, sweet. Yep. And fan this out a little bit here. It's looking good. Okay then, sweetie. Okay then. Uh, you can do that later. We're painting now. Okay, Boomer. Mom, Mom told you not to call me that. I, I don't even know what that means. All right, so while Caitlin is finding her pose again, please, I'm going to go ahead and readjust our easel. I think it's a little bit too high for me. So we're going to want to lefty loosey right here in the center. And you're going to make sure you have a good hold underneath because you don't want anything. We can edit that out, right? All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch gears a little bit here and we're gonna work on Caitlin's face. Um, and so for a face, you're gonna need a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow, and a tiny bit of red. First, we'll get the white. Be in here. Should be in here somewhere. Uh, so we're out of white. But wait, I have an idea. So sometimes, uh, in tough times like this during a quarantine, uh, when you run out of something, you have to improvise and and you know uh, use what you can find. So this is going to be our white today. Uh, I know it sounds silly, but it uh, should work fine. I think this is going to be great for a skin tone. Oh yeah, that's looking, that's looking good. Just get that in there. Don't, don't mess up the hair we've already done. Good. You see the texture, Susan? Zoom in on the texture. Alright, very good. Oh yeah, that's looking good. A uh, little chunky in parts, but we'll be alright. And yeah. Oh, this is looking good, Caitlin. 
You're gonna like it. All right, and it's uh, a little bit too wide, but I've, I've planned ahead for that as well. More household goodies. Out of, out of yellow paint also. Oh, perfect, perfect. Now once I blend that, it should look real, oh, that's coming along. That's, that's really coming along. Well, all in all, a few mistakes, and I know I've not recorded all the steps, but I think the finished product looks pretty good. Uh, Daddy, why are you recording the computer screen? <laughs> uh, you, you jokester. <laughs> you know that's Daddy's painting of Caitlyn. That's the Mona Lisa.